Buenos días a todos. Eh, mi colega Sebastián. Good morning, everybody. My colleague Sebastián and I are going to present the NOX group of LACNOC and also some initiatives of the Internet con uh, Society related to that. So he's going to start with the slides. Thank you, Carlos. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, I came here to tell you basically about two uh, topics. I'm going to start with us uh, just uh, with an overview for the Internet Society. The Internet Society is worried about Internet fragmentation and its various possibilities. And although it's a um, um, and we are working to build uh, possibilities uh, to relate with uh, the network operators groups because we believe that they are going to receive a strong impact in the daily work and we are interested in their views and uh, we you can help us uh, prevent uh, internet fragmentation so that's the future but we wanted to present the other alternatives supporting the technical communities The technical communities, the local and regional communities create and defend a stronger and more resilient Internet. And we have a new program for support and fund these technical communities, that is you. First of all, how do we understand the technical communities? With a general uh, classification, it's a group of people alike with a certain degree of technical knowledge that meet regularly to build, promote, and defend an open, globally connected, reliable, and secure internet. One of the most, uh, one of the clearest examples is the networks operators groups, the NOGS. The key aspect of this new funding line is a fund. To, do, to organize events for training, for uh, exchange, uh, technical events. And you're going to re be able to request up to $4,000 per event, but with a very important feature, and that is that you need to plan it where, uh, way ahead uh, in advance. Uh, Nicolas Rosas, whom you may know, has requested me to be very precise specifying how important it is to do things with uh, um, uh, uh, at least uh, eight to ten weeks to process uh, the applications and it is absolutely essential for that to happen before the events we can't fund any events that have been completed the only thing that uh, the nogs or the uh, technical communities need is a bank account uh, um, of the organization. Uh, don't uh, panic because we know that there are many groups of operators or technical communities that do not uh, are not legally uh, created. That is not a problem because. Uh, the request can uh, be submitted by a fiscal sponsor aligned with the principles of the Internet Society that may manage the funds for uh, each event. So, to apply, you need to enter the uh, ISO Foundation, ISOC Foundation, our sister organization that is in charge of executing the grants, the, the scholarships, and support funds. There you see funding areas, sustainable technical communities, and any doubt you can write to Israel or myself. The, you, you have my email address there just in case you want to talk with me. Uh, I have business cards to give to hand out, uh, and we are ready to help you if you need any assistance to fill in the forms or for specific calls uh, to clarify any doubts in person. So that's all. We are very grateful for your time, and I give the mic back to Carlos.
Está. Buenos días a todos. Eh. Good morning, everyone. I am up here not in, uh, on behalf of LACNIC, but representing LACNOG's working group. LACNOG's working group has the goal of assisting those who wish to embark on building a sustainable technical community and don't know where to start or don't know whom to contact or what type of support they might need. So uh, LACNOG's working group can help you. And please feel free to write to me or to Christian O'Fahati and Ernan Modilevsky, whom I think is not here right now. But the idea is to guide you and to provide support. We can facilitate some things, for example, mailing lists. We can share that with you. And now the interesting thing is that before asking how much money you might need or if it's a type of organization, please start building community. This is something that is as easy as getting together in a bar and many things, many nogs began with a lunch at a restaurant. And that's one of the nicer parts and probably one of the most difficult parts of creating a nog. You will see that this, a great, this is a great path and the long-term benefits of having a community that supports one another whenever there are problems is something that is useful for all of us. One of the wonderful features of the NOGS, and this is repeated in every country, is that although the members of the NOGS work for businesses that commercially compete with one another, very often this competition is not reflected in the NOG. Everyone collaborates in the NOG, everyone helps one another, and that's one of the good and positive things of the NOGs that I would like to highlight, and that's why I'm most enthusiastic about participating in the LACNOG meetings and cooperating with other NOGs. So please write to LACNOG, you know where to find me. You can also write to Israel, to Sebastian, or to Christian. I will try to guide you along. And now I invite you to embark on that path. Now bear in mind that although very often we speak about national NOGs, in fact, it's like a simplification. There needn't be a single NOG per country. That's like an urban legend. In some smaller countries, like in Uruguay, where we're trying to encourage a NOG, of course, there will be a smaller one because there's a smaller one. But countries like Argentina, countries like Mexico, you don't need to be limited to just one single NOG. And I liked this definition because ultimately this reflects that spirit. This is a group of people who have a who share a common technical knowledge and interest and meet on a regular basis for the purpose of building, promoting and defending the open internet. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Sebastian. Well, now Lia Solis is with us, so I invite her to come up because she will be